pulled down the flag the night before Veterans Day and set it on fire. Henceforth, says the school's president, no American flags will be flown on campus. Getting rid of the flag, he wrote, and I'm quoting, will enable us to instead focus our efforts on addressing racist, misogynistic, Islamophobic, anti-immigrant, anti-Semitic, and anti-LBGQ rhetoric and behaviors. Joining us now is Hampshire College student Daniel Vogel, who was in favor of removing the flag, though didn't burn it. Daniel, thanks all for coming on uh, tonight. So I want to read you a quote from you. This is to the Amherst Bulletin, and you said, Think about the groups who use the flag, from police officers to the U.S. Army. These are the forces on the ground that make oppression happen. Now, the obvious point is, obviously, if the police and the Army were to go away, sensitive college students like you would be eaten alive. Let me ask you a deeper question, which is, you find America unfair? Okay. What's a fairer country? Can you think of a country where you'd rather, for example, go on trial for a felony? Well, first off, Tucker, I'd like to thank you for having me on your show. Um, as oh, a history major like yourself, uh, I think we both recognize that conversations like this in the media are one thing that moves this country forward. And as a student working hard to become an American history teacher, I'm really excited to show this interview to my future students as representative of the difficulties of the democratic process. Um, okay. I think to respond to your question, there isn't really a country I'd rather be tried for a felony in. Um, per, I, and I, don't, I really doubt that it's, um, it's, it's not really about me, you know. Um, it's about uh, black people and people of color in this country who, if they were tried for a felony, are much more likely than me to be put in prison for that. Okay, and I'm then, sure then I'll, sh I'll, countries... shift the, I'll shift the question there. And, and by the way, I'm not arguing, never would argue that there aren't inequities here, that it's a perfect country or anything like that. Of course not. But is there a country in, w in which African Americans would stand a chance of a fairer trial than the United States? Is there you a know, fairer not, country? I mean, uh, I guess my, my question is, like, do you have perspective on the world? When you say that all police and all cops are bad, do you really know what you're talking about? Do I have perspective on the world? Yeah, I'm well yeah. aware that the United States is militarily involved in over seven different countries right now. Beyond Iraq and Afghanistan, they're involved in Libya, they're involved in... Um, in plenty of countries in Africa, we have drone bases across the world, right. and I think that um, the U.S. Imperial Forces are really the, the main force in the world right now um, using military force to oppress people. Um, and I think that while that's like a useful question to ask, like, which country would I rather be in? I'd rather that we focus on this country and how we can, you know, fix and improve this country. Um, but removing why is the flag it, I mean, isn't this... Okay, I, I get it, but it, I, and I think we should fix and improve the country. But you're basically saying the flag represents evil to the extent that it shouldn't be flown. And my question is, why is it always rich kids who make that point? Why is it always kids from a $62,000 a year college like Hampshire who are making that point? None of the workers who you claim to be representing ever say that. You never see anybody at a trade school burning the American flag. Have you noticed that? I'm not making this up in my mind, am I? Um, I think that... You're more likely to pick up a story in which rich kids do burn a flag um, on the basis that we have more access to the media. I mean, like the flag burning wasn't really. Uh, so you think it's like your average HVAC repair of, uh, school? The they're burning the flag. Well, I, I mean, believe, there is some I mean, you, you kind of need both. No, that, the no? politics of this country are divided by class, um, and there is like a definite inequality in terms of um, where liberal thought is, um, and I think that. No matter who, the question of the, um, the class of the students who did burn the flag, and I would say that Hampshire College is fairly generous in terms of its um, financial aid circumstances, and while I don't know the student that burned the flag, um, I also don't know the class that they did come from. Um, really? Because I, I, I have some sense. What, what, what's the median family income in this country? Do you know? The median family income in this country? Yeah. I what is, yeah, do what does the median know. family make? Yeah, it's the much less. median family in this country. Yeah, it's much less, much than, less than one year of your schooling. Yeah, of sixty-two thousand, which is what you pay or your parents pay for you to go to Hampshire School and burn the American flag. It's much less than that, and so I just wonder if you understand the bounty that you have, the good deal that you have, the excess that you're benefiting from. Do you get that at all? Oh no, I am one hundred percent privileged to be at this institution. And I think that I have to recognize the fact that the wealth of my parents that was able to pay for this institution was garnered off of slavery and was taken from exploitation. The land that I live on was taken from Native peoples, and the land that I live on back in Portland, back home, was taken from Native peoples. It's the wealth of the people who've, been, who've 
who've been oppressed and who've had things stolen from them that allow me to go to this institution. But then, the so why are you doing it? I mean, honestly, no, but honestly, why are you doing it? I mean, why not go pick, pick apples in Washington State? Why are you consuming $62,000 a year of this blood money, as you describe it, to sit around campus and do pointless rhetorical and symbolic acts like burning flags? I mean, why not work with the people, the laborers? Now, I very much disagree that symbolic, like, uh, you know, removing the flag was a not useful thing. I mean, it got me on your show, correct? Um, yeah. It's a useful yeah. tactic in terms of getting uh, voices out there. Um, and I think that going to a school like Hampshire College, um, I'm, you know, I'm not here to defend going to Hampshire College. What I'm here to do is I'm here to defend the removing of the flag right. from I get, campus, which one was one overall one a democratic question. process. So yes. I can understand the, the context of this. Very quickly, you're for diversity, obviously. And yet, I bet there's virtually nobody on your campus who's openly supporting Donald Trump. Do you yearn for more diversity on your campus, or are you happy in a world where everyone thinks like you? I think you know, diversity is a different word when you're applying it to political, um, political standpoints versus uh, different aspects. Like, I can leave Hampshire College and go to UMass or Amherst College right next door and um, yeah. you know, expose myself to different viewpoints. The point of Hampshire College isn't to say, isn't to you know, create a model of our country and then um, you know, simulate oh. like, political debate and whatnot. It's to figure out, well, what is you know, most uh, liberally collect? What is the most you know, social yeah. justice academia that well, we I'm can for go diversity, for? Daniel, and I, I say we diversify Hampshire College. Thanks all for joining us. Oh, yeah. Thank you so good, much. Doug. Good luck to you. And